Kristen Wagoner is the general counsel for Alliance Defending Freedom. She joins us tonight. Kristen, thanks so much for coming on. So what's, what's the truth here? I know that you follow this subject more closely than maybe anybody in America. Well, she's gutted protections for collegiate and K-12 through girls and women. She's invented shifting explanations in response to your questions and others, and now claims to be a victim of cancel culture. But, Tucker, you know that leaders don't cave to bullies, and two other governors have signed this legislation. Fourteen state attorney generals have signed on in support and defense of the litigation or of the legislation, and she should do the same. It's not too late, but we need real leadership because we're losing our freedoms and endangering our daughters. It's not hard. Don't, you know, boys aren't allowed to play on girls' teams. I mean, it's, it's insane, actually. So was the NCAA, Amazon, and the Chamber of Commerce, w- were they behind her caving, do you think? It appears that they were. She expressed her support for this legislation two weeks earlier. um, And we know that Amazon, as well as the NCAA, has threatened her. But she's come up with these shifting explanations. It's hard to keep track of what she's saying. We need real leaders who won't cave to bullies, stop kicking the can down the road, and actually bring accountability. We have to have a law that recognizes the legitimate differences between men and women. Yeah, of course. I feel sorry for Christine Ohm. She's a very nice person. She's pretty conservative. She did an amazing job with COVID, I think, in the state. But she got bullied by business interests, and she caved at a time when we need leaders who are courageous. And she's not. Christian Wagoner, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you for all the work you've done on this. Thank you.